What's up everyone? Roll call with Karina and Estelle. I know you missed me, right? We're in a new year, 2024. I'm on episode 40. Thank you so much for all your support. And um, my 40th guest is this lady here who's been very impressive to me. She is a artist producer. Okay. <laughs> named Kimora. <laughs> and um, she's incredible. I love her style and I love her energy. So thanks for being here. Of course, Karina. I'm so glad that you invited me. Girl. Such a great time. Yes, yes. Well, one of the reasons I invited you is because you just had a release. I did. And tell us about this beat tape slash production album that you just released. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad you asked. So, everybody, I released the hottest beat tape of 2024. It's called Femme Volume 1. It is a collection of R&B beats. It's a total of seven tracks. The first one, I'll give you a little sneak peek, is called In My Truck. And the last one is called Wet. So, you really want to see what's going on. I suggest you go listen to it on whatever streaming platform you got. So, if it's Spotify, Apple, YouTube Music, Deezer, Yo mama record player, it'll be available, okay? <laughs> yes, and I've been listening to it on YouTube. I'm period. Yes. YouTube. That's I, what I use. Yes, I love YouTube. Yeah, me too. I love, okay. I love that. YouTube got everything. Everything. Okay. Everything. Everybody's like Spotify. No. I'm like, no. No. So Kimora, like I love what you do. When I saw you, you were on stage. You were singing. I was. And then you said you were a producer, and I was like, huh. <laughs> and I said, you know, she's like, do you want to hear my tracks? And we actually scheduled some time. It was a group of us. Yes. Shout out to Iris, Sidari, and Purple Pitch. Um, we had so much fun listening to your tracks that day. And you are a very diverse producer. Like, I heard everything. I heard Afro beat. I heard R&B. I heard, like, tracks like 3-6 Mafia. I love Reese's. Okay, I, I want to hear more about this. Like, who inspires you? Who inspires me? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to be honest. From a producer standpoint, I would yes. say Pharrell. He yes. always got something that's jamming. It's always something that's bouncing. Timberland, yeah. for the same reason, it's always jamming. The drums are good. It's always bouncing. And it's very different. Now, when it comes to the hip hop, I definitely have to say 3-6 Mafia because hey. they was on their game. Hey, Money, you hear that? Look, okay. And specifically, I would say DJ Paul. Everybody be like, you don't like Juicy J? And I was like, I do like Juicy J. <laughs> but like, when I was watching the interviews and I was really analyzing who was doing what, DJ Paul started talking about how he would do the drums and things. And that's what really drew me in to 3-6 Mafia's music. I mean, everything else about the music is fire. I mean, the lyrics, I ain't gonna lie. The lyrics are a little bit morbid, they a little, you know, on yeah. the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but, that's Mafia, right? Okay, three, six, <laughs> like literally, they said triple six, Mafia. Right. Yeah, that's what you expect. But right. the music is jamming. It is. And yeah. yeah, I just kind of took a lot of elements that I like from those producers specifically and incorporated it into my own music. So I would guess, I guess you could say that's my main points of inspiration. Yes, I love that. And because you're a female producer, yes. I had to ask, what are some of the challenges that you have faced in your career? Oh, Karina, if only you knew. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I would say one of the biggest challenges I feel like I have face is respect from mm. the men i mean i know to that okay look like i know i'm fine and that's cool you're fine period thank you <laughs> you too we both fine yeah. <laughs> but when i go out to these events when i go out to the club when i go out to these showcases i'm on business mm. and i feel like a lot of people that approach me if I'm not approaching them, when they approach me, they always trying to flirt. They always be trying to get my number. I don't give my number out for that reason. Or, you know, they be trying to waste my time. And honestly, yeah. baby, time is money, like Mr. Krabs said. Okay. And I'm about that paper. So if you ain't got yes. that, don't be trying to step to me like that. Yeah. But I would say that's the biggest challenge. And even outside of, like, guys approaching me on, the, like, the flirtation. Professional level. Yes. On the professional level. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I, I prefer you to be professional. But the one thing I would say is just even, like, People doubted my skill set and knowledge as well there because I run into other producers who are guys who, you know, they come in for a session. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me get to know you, your style and everything. And you know, they start talking a little trash. And I'm not a person that's gonna make a whole lot of waves on our first meet, but I'm gonna definitely take note. And I'm a, I'm a 
move around you the next time I see you or the yeah. next time we in the same vicinity because I'm like, you don't respect me and I don't deal with nobody that's right. not showing me the respect that I deserve. Right, yes. And and we dug real deep on that because okay. she is such a sweetheart. She's so approachable, you know, like for real, I just think you're awesome, Thank you know? <laughs> and, and she is, she's such a sweetheart, you know, like I really, really appreciate her. And that's one of, you know, one of the best takeaways of our, of our women in music group. Mm -hmm. Um, that I'm now in uh, is that you know we meet such great artists yes. and, and a lot of females and you know you want to empower each other you want to get something out of it and you know Kimura is something that I've gotten out of it and a few other ladies but um, you know I, I truly appreciate that about you you know like you, you are approachable you are kind um, so tell us what your process is as far as like um, I know it could go two ways okay how how do you find people to work with oh <laughs> or they gotta question. find you <laughs> oh no 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 I'm a very strategic and specific person I have a vision I know what I want to do and I know what I'm looking for so a lot of times when I will find artists to work with from the beginning, I'll say that. Um, I'll say this. I will go out to shows, showcases, and I will sit there and I will watch everybody. And I will see, hmm, what kind of songs are they performing? Yeah. How are you performing? How do you interact with the crowd? Um, what kind of beats are you choosing? Yeah. What kind of you know things are you talking about in your music? Right. What does your social media look like? How are you engaging with your audience, with your fans, on your social media platforms? I'm looking at all of this as I watch you perform. I'm gonna figure out who you are. I'm already looking at everything. I already know who's up there. Yes. So if I like you and I feel like you got something good going on, I'm going to approach you. And I'm gonna invite you for a consultation. So come into my studio so that we can get to know each other. Now, I would say it has now began to shift because I've been you know, gaining so much traction. Yes. It's become more people that I have worked with are recommending me to other people, which I'm very grateful for. Yes. And you know, usually I check them out and I would say all of the recommendations that I've gotten from my artists, or even my artists, whatever, from my artists yes. and from other friends. They are your artists. They are artists. <laughs> <laughs> and from my other friends, they have been great talents. So I'm just like, okay, I'm so glad that y'all are really putting me in contact with these people who show promise, who are yes. very serious about what they're doing, who are willing to put the work in to get where they want to go, especially in music, because you know it's a tough market out here. Yeah. So I'm looking for, you know, who has that drive? Exactly. Who has the vision? Who has the plan? Who's willing to put the work in? Like, never mind your bumps, because you know, life gonna happen, and sometimes you gotta take care of some things, but mm -hmm. when you fall down, are you willing to get back up? Yes. Because if you ain't getting back up, baby, we ain't got no business. Right. Got, <laughs> okay. Gotta be a go getter for sure. You Especially have to. in this industry, it's not for the faint of heart. It's really not. So no. yeah, we're 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 in a profession that you know can be extremely difficult and competitive, mm -hmm. as a lot of you know. Um, and you know, I just yeah, I I love that you have you know so much to you. You know, you definitely do. Like we were talking about just peeling the layers. Like there's so many layers there. <laughs> and, this, and you know, you got a lot to give. So yeah, I was listening to her tracks. They're incredible. The new album is incredible. You guys can stream that, yes. you know, and tell them the name again. Oh yes, it's Fem Volume One. And what I forgot to mention before is that if you are an artist, all of the beats on this particular beat tape are available for lease. So if you're looking for some hot R&B beats, let me know if you like something and we can go ahead and get you licensed, okay? Yes, yes, definitely. And you know, cause the best music we'll hear oh, is yeah. from our friends. Like our friends, like you say, and your artists are putting you on to other artists. Yes. Like, because that is truly how the music that we kind of learn about and that we grow to love that, you know, oh, someone put me onto it, to it and you put someone else onto it. And yeah. so, you know, that's, that's really cool. Okay, Kimora, so. Yes. I've been saving this question. Okay. I know you told me you'd have a long answer for it. Oh, yeah. But I think inquiring minds will want to know, okay. what inspired you to become a producer? Okay. I'm gonna let y'all know it is a long answer. So um, <laughs> if you ain't got your snacks, pause it real quick and get you a little snack <laughs> and come do back it. when you're ready. No, do it. Okay, for sure. So I played the trombone in high school. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one because that's a security question. Team scammers. 
<laughs> I am. And I was the section leader for the low brass section. So I was in charge of the trombones, the euphoniums and barit baritones, and the wow. tubas. Yes. So, you know, your girl so was. Cool. Yes, thank you. I've been a leader. I love that you're a tromboner. <laughs> girl, I that's it. it. I, was I love it. that you're a tr <laughs> Shout out to Kevin. Okay, period, Kevin. <laughs> but um, at the football games, they had these things called section call outs. And so, usually, it would be the trombone sections that would call out other trombone sections yeah. from different schools at the at the football games, like I said. Yeah. And, you know, we had a couple of songs in there that were ready that we could play, but. I'm, I think big, right? So I'm just like, I need us to play something that's going to be jamming enough to get our band dancing, our dancers dancing, the cheerleaders yes. dancing, everybody on our side, all the fans dancing, and the people on the other side dancing too. Okay. Because I'm like, you ain't going to punk me out. I'm going to always win. <laughs> Challenge. Very. I'm very competitive. <laughs> very competitive. I don't lose. Yeah. I do not lose. Okay. So I said, all right. So I started learning some songs that yeah. were really popular, or, you know, classic songs that would really get everybody moving. Mm -hmm. And I learned all the different parts to the songs and just memorized them and taught them to my section by ear. A lot of them couldn't play by ear. They hadn't developed that skill yet. So I was like, this is the perfect time for you to learn. Because oh. y'all going to play these songs yeah, and y'all going to yeah. sound good playing them. Okay. Because if you don't, we ain't playing it. Or you not playing it. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while I was teaching them, oh, they had got the hang of learning songs by ear and things like that. But my band director was a hater. So he was like, y'all can't play them songs if they're not written out in sheet music. And I was just like, you're really trying to play in my face. But okay, since you want to play like that, we're going to get it done. Yeah. So I took it upon myself to find some sheet music writing software. And everything that I had taught them, I put on the sheet music. So they'd have different parts to read. Nice. Yes, yes. And Look at you, you write sheet music, girl. Girl, I did. I love it. That's a skill. It That's is. a money making skill. It is money making skill. It's very uh -huh. time consuming. Yes. <laughs> very time consuming. Yes. But I was dedicated to the cause because you're not going to call me like that. Uh oh. And I wanted something, I was going to get it. Uh oh. I'm going to have my way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So, you know, once <laughs> Sounds I. Sounds like bring it on. Yeah, and I brought it. You ain't brought nothing compared to me. Let me stop. Oh my god, you're so cute. You're so. I'm seeing a different side. I love it because this, this, this. I cool. love it. That's why you're spicy. I'd be chilling. Okay, though. so tell us about your background. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. We, we're not even. You ain't even get to the music. I know. I'm sorry. Let's get to the music. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna fast forward. So I gave him the music. I said, "What else you need?" He said, "I don't need nothing now." I said, "Sure you don't." I said, "We playing these after the game. We played them at the game, and exactly what I wanted happened." Yeah. Everybody from every side, everywhere in the stadium was dancing because we was doing our thing. Nice. And it wasn't just a trombone line. I said, since y'all want to play with me, y'all think y'all better. I'm going to go ahead and get my whole section behind me. And we all play. Nice. Yes. Okay. And it was a success. Now, fast forward to college. Um, that's why I said, I mean, this is a long answer. Oh, no. Girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. But fast forward to college. I was going to art parties. I like to dance. Of course. And they were playing a lot of B-King. They were playing a lot of twerk songs. So, you know, me and my friends, we, was, we were doing our thing. Right? And it got you back that thing up. Well, yeah, I was backing it up, dropping it down, throwing the circle, all of that. <laughs> all right, Carol's I was doing it. it. We had a good time. But, you know, at a point, I was just like, dang, I wish I had some songs that would get everybody moving like that because we enjoyed ourselves so much. So right. I was trying to be like B King. I downloaded, I downloaded FL Studio on my laptop. Nice. And I was like, cool, I'm about to be making some beats. I tried the demo version out because yes. I ain't had two hundred dollars to pay for a full thing. I was a college student. So right. you know, it is what it is. Uh -huh. And so it crashed my computer and I said, well that was the end of that. <laughs> Could have saved my beats because it was the demo version, but I was like, whatever. At least I got the experience, and I kind of like it. Yes. So I was like, I'll come back to it at some point when I'm not in school anymore, and I can actually run the program. Yes. Yes. So fast forward another two years. Okay. I actually started a restaurant review show. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 Tell me about that. Yeah, I was reviewing restaurants all around Austin. Love it. Mm -hmm. And while I was. So you went to school in Austin? Yeah, I went to UT. Okay. Oh, okay, girl. Oh, look at look at look at her horns, y'all. She don't play. She I don't. Right out. I went to Macomb, so you know I really don't play. <laughs> okay. Yes. But um, during the, during production and while I was editing, I was like, I need some music that's really gonna get this thing yes. jumping yes, yes. and keep people's attention. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I, I be talking, and so the reviews were kind of long, but they were very detailed. Uh huh. So people, anyway. Yeah. So I put together a playlist <laughs> of songs that I thought gave the vibe that I really wanted to give off in my show. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
And I put together a few for different types of episodes too. Yeah. So I went and I found some producers in Houston and you know, just wasn't giving me what I wanted. And I was like, you know, this is cool, but this is not what I'm looking for. And you know, I was going around looking, trying to figure out what I could do, and you know, how to license music, find them uncopyrighted music, but it just wasn't giving what I wanted. Okay. Until I found a producer in Austin. Yeah, and um, I was like, this is what I'm trying to do. I got all this stuff right here. When can I get in to see you? And he was like, you come in this day. I said, cool, I'm going to already be there that week. Night. So it worked out. So the night I'm in the studio, I tell him everything again. Just a debrief will make sure he's on the same page I am because I'm very particular, very specific. And he was like, okay, cool. So we started making a track, and I was like, okay, this sounds good. I was like, hmm, he was doing the bass line. I was like, uh let me try it. Let me do the bass line for you. I have an idea. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I hopped on the keys. I don't play piano, but I was like, I'm getting this idea off. So I yeah. said, let me tap around on here. And I was boom, 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 that bass line in there. And nice. it sounded good. I said, check that. That sound good. I'm like, this thing is jumping here. Yeah. And, you know, we created a track that was really nice. Didn't use the track, but, you know, I still have it. Of and course. so I said, this is really fun. I would really like to do this every day. Like, I enjoy it. Yes. And I just turned to him. I said, what doll you use? Cause I had tried other ones and I was just like, it's not working. Yeah. He was like, I use Logic, and I was like, cool. nice. I'm like, I like it. Logic. I use Logic. Too. See, it's easy to yes. use. Yes. I like it. Good interface in my opinion. Yeah. And so I was yeah. like, bet I'm gonna get that. And so I went to go look it up. I said, ooh, it's on the MacBook. I don't have one. <laughs> and I said, ah, whew, I'm gonna get a Mac. And I was, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I wasn't working at the time, so your girl had to really. I had to take a leap of faith and just buy the MacBook because I was like, I really want to do this. I really want to learn. Bravo. So I'm going to do it. Yeah. And I said, if I don't learn this in 30 days, I'm going to take everything back. So I used the demo version of Logic yeah. to just try to learn yes. as much as I could. And eventually I ended up coming to my mentor who actually goes to my church, funny enough, Mike B. Okay. And so he really helped facilitate the learning for me with Logic. Nice. So, Obviously, I learned how to use it in 30 days because I'm still doing it. Yes. I still got my Mac. Yes. And, you know, that just kind of, that was the origin story of how I really started producing from a TV show. Now, what's funny is I never used any music for the show because I had to stop production on the show. Why? Yeah. Um, the food was making me sick. You know, America oh, food was Yeah. Food, Especially so. eating out. We yes. don't really know what goes into our food. Yeah, it's just, it wasn't doing it for me, so... I was like, it's okay, because I can use this music for other stuff. Yes, exactly. And you yeah. have, and wow, what, you know, what yeah. a timeline, you know? Yes. That's crazy. Never would I have thought back then that this is where I would be on. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'm proud of you, and I'm so glad I met you and got to connect with you. Um, tell our viewers where they can find you. Okay. So, everybody, if you want to get in contact with me, your best bet is to find me on Instagram at yeah, it's Kimora, and that's spelled Y-E-A-H-I-T-S-K-I-M-O-R-A. K-I-M-O-R-A. Sorry, y'all. You know I'm from Texas, and we talk how we talk, so I have to make sure y'all understood what <laughs> I, I said. I will link it to the end of the show. Yes. Don't worry. Yes. So you guys can follow her. I love that. And um, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, do you have any shout outs? Yes, yes. So I would definitely like to shout out Karina. <laughs> 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 of course, Karina the Style, she's been a great uh, help to me, great friend in this experience Aww. as well. So I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely have to shout out Mike B, my mentor, my church member. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking me in and allowing me to use your studio and just teaching me everything I know about how to work the studio, recording, mix mixing, production, and everything. I really appreciate you and don't think I am taking anything for granted because I am not. So thank you. <laughs> I also want to shout out Iris for Yay. helping as well. She's been very, Iris. yeah, she's been such a positive force mm -hmm. in this, uh, oh my goodness gracious, in this sphere that we're in. Yep, I like that. <laughs> it sounds good. And my friend Lauren, thank you for helping bring my events to life for my release and, you know, being the person that put on a dance class for me. I really appreciate that. That's and awesome. everybody else that's been rocking and rolling with me, I'm charge it to my mind not my heart i really appreciate you as well you know who you are because we talk on a daily basis and if not the daily basis on the weekly okay so everybody that's really been supporting me i appreciate you so much you have no idea i came in here with no expectations so to see that people really believe in me and what i bring to the table really warms my heart it makes me feel good about what i do and just kind of drives me to keep going so thank you everybody
And everybody is watching too. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out. Follow Kimora. Yeah, yeah it's Kimora. Yeah, it's Kimora. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Woo! Peace.